And you know, we have a very special art spotlight tonight. We have a weekly artist spotlight, but this time we have a full-length feature. Longtime New Orleans artist Luis Comaneris is comfortable working in metal and on canvas. And much of the time, whatever he comes up with has a touch of whimsy. Let's pay him a visit. From his studio in Chalmette in St. Bernard Parish, artist Luis Comaneris creates whimsical sculptures and splashy paintings, often centered around a lovable crustacean. Each piece of art begins with an ingenious idea and requires imagination and patience from start to finish. I never want to duplicate what I've done before. I'm always trying to reinvent the wheel and it's really, really hard, you know. I like things that balance, I like things that move, I like things that rotate, and you know, I use a lot of different uh, methods for those. But if I'm building a sculpture, you always start with a very solid foundation or a base. And then from there, you work your way up. Coleman Harris, who is of Colombian descent, was introduced to art at an early age. My mother had a closet in, her, in, in the house that was a studio and she would play with all kinds of paints and all kinds of things and I was fascinated by her airbrush and her airbrush was she'd put drops of paint in it and blow it onto the canvas and that was the airbrush and I played with that thing for years and years and I think that's how I got stuck doing you know art and then in high school I had a really great teacher Miss Ricks at East Jefferson High School she was fabulous and then everything else I do is really self-taught but New Orleans is the biggest influence on his art. You know, you go to these different spots in New Orleans and you see some really creative things. Uh, you see all these old bars and old funky walls and, and you know, even street poles that are bent and, and the color of the street poles, that wonderful New Orleans green that we call it. Those colors uh, work so well in New Orleans and all the bright colors. And I think that's what influences my colors in my paintings and my sculptures. His artwork can be seen around the city in the form of streetcars and fish and in restaurants where his contributions often extend beyond a basic mural. I'm one of those people that walks into the job site with the architect there and then I design the bar stools, I design the floor, I design the wall, I design the light fixtures, I pour the resin on the tabletops, I put in the artwork. It's uh, the Redfish Grill. We did giant fish with neon all through their, you know, all through their area with palm trees that look like coral. Today, one of his favorite creations is a big-eyed crawfish named Bludro. My daughter Emma uh, and I, we were at a crawfish boil many years ago, 2001, and we found a little blue crawfish and we took him home. So he didn't get boiled. And um, we took him home and he, and he lasted, I don't know how many years, but when the little creature passed away, um, I had called him Boudreau and Emma used to call him Blue. And um, I painted a painting for her and I gave it to her. And then 13 years goes by and she's upstairs in my studio painting with me. And she turns to me and says, Poppy, paint me a Boudreau. And I said, who's Blue Drow? What a great word, Blue Drow. And then I painted another painting, and then everybody in my studio wanted one. And then so I kept on painting some paintings, and I ended up painting 40 paintings and sold them all, and painted another 60 paintings and sold them all. So we went to the Art Council, and then they helped us trademark and copyright it. For Coleman Harris, sharing his work with others is the best part. I want art to go to, to people that, you know, can't afford it, but can't afford it either. I love that people look at these pieces and say they're, they're so whimsical that they make them happy. It's a wonderful thing. And thanks to producer Suzanne Pfefferly Tafour. And here is artwork that Luis is actually donating to the 25th annual Azucar Ball tomorrow night, where he will be awarded the Galvez Cup to uh, thank him for the contributions that he has made to the New Orleans area and the Hispanic Heritage Foundation and uh, the local Hispanic community as well. The Azucar Ball takes place, that's tomorrow evening, as we said, at the Hyatt Regency Hotel on Loyola Avenue. You can visit NO hhf.org for more information and we also have information on how to contact Luis and you can see his website of course bluedrow.com and uh, interesting yeah. location where he is it these is, days is. of course you know they're calling Luis the um, Picasso of Chalmette now <laughs> that's, his, that's his new name it's great <laughs> it's a great name for yes. 